Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to travel through the fastest highway in Australia. As you see guys, the highway running behind me is called as Stuart Highway and it is the fastest highway in Australia. This highway runs from Darwin, Northern Australia to Port Augusta, South Australia. The total distance of this highway is 2720 kilometers and the maximum traveling speed is 130 kilometers per hour. We are going to travel through this highway today and see what we can experience during our journey. Now I am in a small town called Catherine in Northern Territory and I am going to travel nearly 320 kilometers from here to the capital city of Northern Territory, Darwin. This is going to be nearly 3.5 hours journey and definitely going to be interesting. So don't go anywhere, sit back, relax and make sure you are subscribed to our channel to watch videos like this and without further delay, let's start our journey. Alright guys, this is where the Catherine town starts and we are going to leave from here. In today's video, our traveling partner will be my car Mazda 3 which is just over there. Come, let's go and start our journey, folks. Now we have came out of Catherine boundary limits and from here we can travel at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. If there are a couple of signboards on either side of the road indicating the speed, that means we can travel at that speed on the road past that signboards. That is one of the traffic rules in Australia. Now we will be traveling mostly through bush and forest area guys. Most of the Australia is unpopulated and just bush and we can see such areas during our journey. As I said before guys, we will be traveling through bush and bear land and we can encounter a lot of wildlife. If we see any wildlife need medical care and special attention on road, we can call this number and inform. This is such a good thing to conserve and save our wildlife. I was traveling in the highway going over there guys. Now I came through a dirt road going along the highway to meet few guys here. Look at this side, you can see a bull there. That is called as an Australian Brahmin bull. Look at the size of that bull guys. Hey mate, how are ya? You can also see few more bulls and cows. Also, there is a horse here. I reckon these are Australian cattle belong to someone here and they are feeding and taking some rest here. Now in this region you can see few places burnt and smoky guys. This procedure is called as control fire or prescribed burning. This is done by Australian wildfire prevention organizations to prevent the bushfire by reducing the buildup of flammable fuel loads such as leaf litter, grasses and shrubs.
You can also see the burnt areas on the other side. This prescribed burning can save a lot of wildlife and natural resources from Australian bushfire. On our way down along the highway, you can see few different kind of rocks guys. Look at the shapes and the design of these rocks. They look different and kind of attractive. You can also see these kind of things while you travel through this third highway. Alright guys, till now we travelled at the speed of 100 km per hour through this highway and from this point we can travel at the speed of 130 km per hour which is the fastest speed limit in Australia. This is the road we are traveling through. On our way, we can see a dead kangaroo which was hit by some vehicles and died. This is not pleasing, but unfortunately, you can see a lot of dead wildlife like this along this highway. Alright, now we are in a place called truck rest area along this highway guys. Australia has a lot of road trains and trucks which carry goods and materials all over Australia. They travel for a very very long distance and there are rest areas like this in every highway in Australia to park the trucks and to take some rest both the driver and the truck. Alright guys, now we have completed one third of our journey and I am in a historical town called Pine Creek. There is a separate video about this on our channel and you guys can check that out from the link in the description below. I stopped at this place to take some rest and I will continue my journey from here after a while. As you see guys, here is a map showing some best tourist places you can travel in Northern Territory Australia. It would be very helpful for people to stop here. On our way along this highway, we can see few airstrips used during the World War times. McDonald Airfield World War II is one of them, but it is closed for people nowadays. It should be somewhere in this direction, guys. While traveling through these highways, you can also see some brutal accidents. Look at this car here. It went off from the highway and crashed so badly. You can see some stickers on its body. It has been inspected by police and insurance agency and they should be working on this case. 
we need to be so careful while we are traveling through highways to avoid accidents and fatalities. Guys, you can see another big area where the prescribed burning has been done. As it is going to be a very hot season in Northern Territory, they are doing prescribed burning in a lot of places to prevent bushfire. In some places along this highway, road repair works are also going on. As you see in the front, some works are being carried out with machineries to repair and extend the road shoulder in some places. Alright guys, now we are in a beautiful viewpoint situated next to this highway. You can see trees, bushes and mountain ranges from this viewpoint. Such a beautiful place to stop your vehicle and enjoy the nature. Now we are at a campground situated along this highway guys. There are few tourists and visitors to Northern Territory are staying here and this campground is open for 24 hours. There are a lot of different kind of places and features along this highway guys. There are also few waterways you can encounter while traveling through this highway. This is a small creek which is just next to the highway and during wet season there will be a lot of water here. There is the highway which we are going through and now I am in a bypass road which is going along the highway. You guys can see a river flowing under the bridge across this highway. This river is called as Adelaide River. The river rises from Litchfield National Park and flows generally northwards to Clarence Strait joined by eight tributaries. As we haven't got not much rain during last wet season, there is not much water flow in this river. That is the new bridge through which our highway goes and you guys can see the old bridge here where I am standing right now. Alright guys, now I am at a place called Adelaide River. This place is an important place for the people traveling through this highway. This place has hotel, restaurants, food stalls, petrol station and other attractions. People going through the Stuart Highway normally stop, rest and refresh here. You guys can see a lot of cars, caravans and camper vans here taking a break. Adelaide River Inn is a hotel and restaurant in this place which is having facilities for tourists and visitors traveling through this highway.
When you come past the Adelaide River, you can see a railway track going along with this highway. This railway track joins Darwin City and Adelaide City and Australia's longest train, the Garn, travels through this railway track only. Now you guys can see the Australia's longest train, the Garn, coming through this railway track. The Adelaide Darwin railway line is nearly 3000 kilometers long and the length of the longest train, the Garn, which is going through this railway track is 774 meters long. Guys, now I have stopped at a place called Acacia along the Stuart Highway and the reason why I stopped here is there are three big buffaloes with very long horns in this place. As we are lucky today, they are just roaming around the fence and I will show them to you guys. You can have a look at the buffaloes at the far guys. Look at the size of their horn and how long it is. Pretty amazing, no? On our way, in the opposite side, we can see some hay bales. These have been freshly rolled and look beautiful guys. There are a lot of hay bales placed along this fence for long distance. As I said before in this video, there are a lot of airstrips along this toward highway. You guys can see one called Stross Airfield here. It is said that this was established during Second World War to train Australian Air Force. There is also an airstrip here and it was used to take off and land Air Force planes and jets during that period. There are a few aircraft models here, let's go and have a look at them. The P-40 is one of the aircraft used on this airfield. You can see another couple of them there. This one is called as Spitfire and you can find some information about this one on the board. The third one is called as Update.
All right, guys. Now I have almost reached the Darwin City. You guys can see some tall buildings and skyscrapers just ahead of us. They all are in Darwin City. I would say that's a wrap for this video, and hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates, and I will catch you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.